if you have an iMac lying around, you can technically change it into sort of a monitor. Uh, target mode no longer is supported with a uh, iMac, or it's very limited supported. Um, the easiest way you can turn it into a monitor is to purchase an inexpensive USB HDMI adapter. You can find these for like 10 to $15. I bought it on Amazon for $9 when it was on sale. So the thing is, I mentioned target mode using the mini, mini display uh, Thunderbolt port, but uh, it's a little, it's a little complicated. E easiest way of getting this iMac to work with the, what's it called, a USB HDMI adapter. You see this HDMI. Uh, I mean, the easiest way to make this sort of like a monitor, so I can use it with, you know, I here I have my Roku as well as my Fire TV and uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 3 over here. I've tried it with both the Fire and the uh, PlayStation 3 and it works fine. And I'll show you how, how I set it up. Sorry, it's taking me so long. So let me hook this up. I'm going to hook up the USB end to any port in the back. Then I'm going to hook this up to the HDMI that goes to my PS3 and I'm going to turn it on. So let me go do that. I um, have two hands. So I have everything connected. The next thing I'm, I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my PS3 over here. PS3 is turning on. Now what else do I need to do? It's very simple. You need to find QuickTime. I have this shortcut over here, QuickTime Player, but you can definitely go from the top and go to applications. This isn't a tutorial. I just wanted to make this just because I can. There are better tutorials out here, you know, guys who really know what they're doing. Um, I just wanted uh, to make this into a monitor because I don't have much space in my room. Um, and I know it uses a little more electricity and it's not exactly convenient, but still, uh, I just wanted to use it anyways because I didn't want to buy anything else and had this lying around. So from applications, you can go to QuickTime Player over here. Hopefully uh, your USB uh, capture device, USB HDMI capture device uh, worked okay. So QuickTime will load up and it won't show anything probably. So you have to click here on QuickTime Player and go to File, New Movie Recording. And by default, it'll probably show me, which I don't want it to show. Uh, I'm embarrassed of myself. Uh, so this is one of the few times you'll see my face. You click on the down arrow and you can instead choose USB video. So I should have said, yes, you, all you need to get is a USB to HDMI capture device over here. Sorry if I didn't say it correctly. And now you can see I have the, what's it called, video showing. And I just have to maximize this if I want to maximize the video. There I have my PS3 playing. Um, please note that sometimes it gets a little choppy. This is an i5 2011 iMac with 12 gigabytes of RAM. I can imagine if you're running something with less RAM and slower speed, like an i3, it might be choppy. So uh, I, there have been other posters who mentioned there is some slowness and choppiness at times, but you can see right now it's running pretty smooth. So again, by clicking the down arrow over here, you can select which camera you want and you want to choose USB video. The other thing that you want to choose is also the microphone you want to use. If By default, it's going to set it to internal microphone, but you want it to do USB digital audio. Once you do that, uh, now when I turn up the volume, the volume should work. I need to turn it on. Normal volume, I need to turn it up. Oh, gosh. 
need to turn it up. And then down here, we need to turn up the volume and uh, let me see if I can do a test game. I just popped in Transformers Devastation. Uh, I'm going to choose a user. Uh, I need to get my remote. So, plugged it in, turned on Transformers De Devastation. It's loading right now. Anytime you're gonna hear some audio. So again, move your mouse. When you click the down arrow on here, just make sure camera is set up as well as your USB audio. If you don't do that, uh, you won't get everything sounding the way you want it to. Here, that's the audio. That's it. Super easy, using QuickTime. Hopefully this answered any questions. And I'm able to play PS3 using a USB HDMI capture device that cost me $10. These are very generic. You can find them anywhere on eBay and Amazon. So good luck.